Hello, 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 Sir David the Bard. I'm uh, coming to you from Moscow here in Russia. And boy, they got a big central area here. I'm standing out in the middle of it with my little fake computer, and I see all these guards coming, so I'm going to just kind of keep moving. <laughs> anyway, I just got a report, and it's now in the, um, the desert news, but I want you to be first all over the world. You tune in with the Bard, you know what's going on. Uh, in Russia today, there were two Mormon missionaries, uh, and if you know anything about Mormon missions, um, it's very hard to get anyone to listen to you uh, when they know you're Mormons. The whole world has come to a point of uh, non-interest, but if you're a Mormon, you know, go see somebody else. I've already read the internet, and I don't want anything to do with you. But anyway, uh, these two missionaries, I think one's from Texas, <coughs> one from Utah. Anyway... Somebody called them and said, I'd like to have a Book of Mormon. Now, I think that that's the record right there. I don't think anyone has ever called a missionary that wants a Book of Mormon. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> these guys were so excited, uh, and they should be, because if it's too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. So they went over to this guy's house, and he said, well, give me the lesson, and the guys gave him a lesson. <laughs> I don't think they liked the lesson, because they jumped up. <laughs> stole their cameras, ran around the room, tried to call some friends to behead the missionaries. Now, that's not the way the first discussion usually goes. <laughs> maybe it is. I haven't been on a mission, so maybe that is not atypical of a first discussion. But anyway, uh, they took their cameras and they took their cell phones and they took everything, the husband and the wife. And the husband did make some phone calls to friends to come over and help take the heads off the bodies of the Mormon missionaries. Well, anyway, that idea went over like a shit, a shit that's a punch bowl. So anyway, uh, the, the new investigator, I guess, was testing the missionaries. The Lord has appeared to him and said, you know, you need to test these missionaries. So I don't know if he held them at gun point, uh, knife point, I guess it was knife point, and took them to the ATM machine, and he made the missionaries take out $85, 3,000 rubles, and uh, give it to him. And then uh, the nice uh, man with the knife gave them 100 rubles to take a cab and get the hell away from him. But anyway, the missionaries walked home and told the mission president. And uh, they went down and told the uh, Soviet police. <laughs> so who knows, you guys? You want to send your kids into third world countries? You want to send them in countries that don't protect them under the U.S. Constitution? You can't control their lives? Be abusive. I don't care. When you send a 19, 18, 20-year-old child into a foreign country to serve a religious mission in a dangerous area of the world, you're irresponsible parents. Well, anyway, these two kids got off, but, um, you know, many times they don't get off. There are deaths and there are uh, problems with uh, children on missions. So, health in the navel, marrow in your bones, strength in the loins and in my sinews, power in the priesthood, be upon me and upon my posterity through all generations of time and throughout all eternity. Thanks. The Bard is gone.